Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Command. Today I would like to cover a coin that has been off the charts lately. And that coin is Vertcoin. This is not a new coin to the cryptocurrency world. It's actually been around since 2014. Um, but it, it is exactly what it states to be, and that is a decentralized currency. Um, pretty pretty plain and simple by, by that description, but there are a few things that have started to help it gain a lot of traction lately. Um, if you, here we are on their homepage, uh, vertcoin.org, and you can see the slogan here is simply the people's coin. So what does that mean and what, what implications does that have on it um, in the other cryptocurrency markets? Why, why haven't we seen adoption of this over the past few years that it's been around. Um, really, what Vertcoin has been trying to implement at this point plays into all the debates that have been going on in the Bitcoin mining debates. So Bitcoin mining has become very centralized in many respects. Um, certain locations that can build gigantic mining farms and have specialized, highly expensive mining equipment are all making it harder and harder for the average person to start mining Bitcoin. Whereas a few years ago, it was not nearly as difficult to just fire up whatever computer you had, fire up your laptop, and start mining. Um, Vertcoin is trying to address some of that. So they are using an algorithm that will allow for GPU mining um, and only GPU mining. So no, no more complicated um, aspects to that should, should be involved here. So scroll down on, on the page a little bit and you can see that specifications, um, I'm not going to try to get into any of the technical details here. Um, Really what, what I want to cover uh, in this video is actually how to set up a wallet for Vit Vertcoin um, as more and more people are getting interested in owning a little bit of this. As always, you don't want to, to hold this on an exchange. Um, so I'm not going to try to cover too many of the details, but there are some nice specifications here on the homepage. This algorithm Lira 2 RE uh, version 2, um, this is really the the backbone of Vertcoin that restricts mining to things as simple as GPU mining. And so this enables the broader cryptocurrency world to be able to mine Vertcoin. And that has been really attractive, especially in light of what's going on with Bitcoin. And so that is one of the reasons that Vertcoin has started to, to jump lately. Um, a lot of people are starting to call Vertcoin possibly the next Litecoin, so something that's going to, to really jump into the space as something that can be used um, simply as a, a regular cryptocurrency. So um, I typically don't spend a lot of time looking at coins that are trending on coin market cap as those tend to be incredibly volatile coins. Um, things that you see go up tremendously one day are just going to be down a whole lot the next day. Um, but you can see that Vertcoin is currently on this list. Um, the market cap for Vertcoin is now $75 million USD. Um, it's been up 18.4% here on coin market cap. The the chart has been pretty incredible. It has now hit a rank of number 42 on coin market cap. It was a little bit higher. Um, this is, you know, a week ago. I don't think it was it was even in the top 100. And so if we if we take a look um, at the price, you can see it has just absolutely spiked. In, in the past few days. Um, so really looking at, um, let's turn off the, uh, the BTC price um, and just focus in here on the USD price. You can really see this, um, this spike above $3. Um, it had a, a spike way back here in 2014, but really has had 
little to no price action um, for two years now, um, and not until recently has it really started to to climb back up. Um, and so, as some of this uh, momentum was starting here, um, that's when I was introduced to to Vertcoin, and uh, I did. Uh, get a, a small position in Vertcoin at that time. I was trying to accumulate more, but, but just didn't have time before um, the, the, the price really started to spike. And so I haven't purchased any more. I don't really want to purchase any more at these all-time highs. Um, but currently I have Vertcoin sitting on Bittrex. Um, and so I want to get it off of that exchange because I, I'd never like to, to hold coins on any exchange. So Vertcoin, as you can see, if you're on Bittrex, um, is one of the, the top volume coins right now. It's just all over the place. The, the price has been going way up. The volume has been way up. Um, and so it's it's been an intriguing one to watch. And it will be fascinating to see if it can become sort of uh, another piece of, of the main puzzle here along with Bitcoin and Litecoin in terms of just the, the standard currencies that are used. Okay, so today um, I'm going to go through the download. So there are multiple options for what you can use um, on the downloads. Um, there is a web wallet link if you go to the Vertcoin website, but when you click on this, um, you can see that the because of, of DDoS attacks, um, they have shut down this um, this web wallet. So they point you to uh, Electrum as a different uh, wallet to use. Initially, I tried to download the Vertcoin QT wallet from the website, but I had issues getting the wallet to sync. Uh, I don't know if that is something with uh, the current Mac version. Um, so I'm going to, to try to download and install the Electrum wallet as an alternative. So you can download it from the um, from this web link or you can go back to the the Vertcoin homepage and Electrum wallet is the, um, the final option. So these top links are for the QT wallet. This is the one that I tried to download and install and was unsuccessful with that. So I'm going to go to Electrum wallet and I'm going to, to try to download this one. So um, on uh, downloads, uh, a Mac OS 10 DMG is an option. So I'm going to, to download that and that is a relatively small file, just under 40 megs. And so once that's finished, all right, that's good. We will open that, get that extracting. And once it opens up, um, we should be able to copy that over to my applications folder. Okay, so um, here's my applications folder. We're going to move Electrum over to that. And that will copy. And now we can go into Electrum for VTC. Um, okay, gonna get the, the error that it can't be open because it's an unidentified developer. So to deal with that, we will go into, um, into security and privacy and say that it is okay, so open this anyway. And confirm that I want to open it, click open. So we can get rid of this and Electrum will start to open. Hopefully this one will run okay. All right, so what are we going to say? Um, so this needs to connect to the Electrum server. Electrum is going to be different than the QT wallet because here we're not going to have to, to sync the whole blockchain. Um, so it's going to save space. If space is an issue for you anyway, um, then the Electrum wallet is a different way to go, but it's going to, to sync with the, um, the Electrum server. So I'm gonna say, 
auto connect. Um, we'll just call it default wallet is fine. Um, and uh, for for my purposes, I just want a standard wallet. I want this to be a place where I can move and store coins. Um, so if you want to create a seed or restore using an existing seed. So um, I am going to create a new seed. So this is going to be my um, multi-word, probably 12-word seed. Um, so I'm going to, to go ahead, set this up, and then we'll see if we can get the wallet up and running. Okay, so um, it gave me a 12-word a uh, seed and then asked me to confirm that to make sure that I had it written down somewhere. And now what it wants to do is, by default, it is prompting me to encrypt the, the wallet. Um, so I have to choose a password to encrypt my wallet keys. Um, I definitely recommend encrypting by default. Um, so it says you can leave this empty and keep going. Um, but since it's already prompting to do this, I'm going to go ahead and enter a password, confirm that, and then click Next. OK, so I have entered my password. I'm asking it to encrypt it. Click next. All right, it's generating an address for me. So this will be the address that we can use to send Vertcoin to the wallet. Okay, so we are now up and running, um, synchronizing. Um, so this is all a good sign. Um, see down here we have uh, wallet lock. You could unlock it uh, with a password um, since we just encrypted it. Um, have preferences, the seed, and syncing to the network. So this will probably still take a little bit of time to synchronize. Um, we can also um, send very simple wallet, um, just a place to paste an address. Uh, you can add a description, have the amount um, that you put in here, um, fees probably controlling transaction speed and then um, a receive. So here is my new uh, VTC address. All right, so synchronization was quick. Uh, that is the advantage to the Electrum wallet. Um, so have the receive address. Um, so now I can um, move my um, VTC from uh, Bitrix and send it over to this Electrum wallet. So this should allow me to copy this address. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go over to Bitrix and I'm going to ask to send my Vertcoin over. So I'm going to go ahead and say send everything um, and then we will use uh, two-factor authentication. Confirm that. Okay, so we'll just enter in our number, click confirm, withdraw submitted. Okay, and now we should be able to see this uh, come up in our wallet shortly. Um, so we'll be looking for a change in the balance and we can look at the transaction history here. Okay, my VTC has now uh, come over. Uh, the 83 VTC is now being recorded as unconfirmed, so the confirmations will have to go through to be able to actually do anything with it from the wallet, but it has come over uh, very easy. Um, just a couple more aspects about this particular wallet. Um, you can um, show your coins, you can have information down here, so here is um, the address, uh, you can now see this also in the history. Um, you can see this, uh, more information about it. Um, you can have contacts within here if you want to. Um, just a few uh, simple features. You do have control of your private keys, probably the most important thing. So you can, you can export private keys from here if you want to. Um, and uh, contacts, uh, history, you can act, export all of that information if you want to. So all in all, a nice, um, a nice wallet to be able to use for Vertcoin if you're interested in getting into Vertcoin. Um, let me know what you think about Vertcoin in the comments below. Do you think this is going to be uh, a, one of the most important cryptocurrencies for, for simple exchange? Is this going to be the next Litecoin? Do you own any Vertcoin? 
I think Vertcoin is going to be an interesting one to watch. And if you've been interested in Vertcoin, I hope this video was helpful to you. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, be sure to click the subscribe button. And until next time, thanks for watching Crypto Command.